What if I told you that the future of computing might not belong to Intel, AMD, or even ARM? A new competitor is rising, and it's called RISC-V. Some say it could revolutionize everything, from smartphones to supercomputers. But can it really replace x86 and ARM? Let's find out. RISC-V is an open source instruction set architecture, ISA. Unlike x86 used in Intel and AMD processors and ARM used in almost every smartphone, RISC-V is completely royalty free. That means companies don't need to pay licensing fees, giving them full control over their hardware. This makes it a game changer for semiconductor companies as they can design custom processors without being locked into proprietary ecosystems. The RISC-V ISA was developed in 2010 at UC Berkeley as an academic project. The goal? To create a simple, efficient, and highly modular CPU architecture that could scale from microcontrollers to high-performance computing. But what started as a university project quickly gained traction. Today, giants like Google, Nvidia, Qualcomm, and even China's semiconductor industry are investing in RISC-V. To understand RISC-V's potential, we need to compare it to the dominant architectures, x86, Intel, and AMD. This is a complex instruction set computing, CISC, architecture. It has thousands of highly optimized instructions, allowing for efficient execution of complex tasks. However, this complexity leads to higher power consumption and increased design costs. ARM. This is a reduced instruction set. Computing risk architecture. Unlike x86, it uses a smaller set of simple instructions, leading to higher power efficiency, which is why ARM dominates mobile devices and embedded systems. However, ARM cores require licensing fees, meaning manufacturers must pay ARM holdings to use the technology. RISC-V Like ARM, RISC-V follows the RISC design philosophy. However, it is completely open source and modular, meaning companies can customize the instruction set to fit their needs, reducing unnecessary complexity and improving efficiency. This makes it ideal for low-power devices, embedded systems, and specialized AI chips. The technical advantages of RISC-V modularity and customization. Unlike x86 and ARM, RISC-V is designed with extensibility in mind. Companies can create custom extensions for their specific workloads. This is especially useful for AI, machine learning, and IoT applications where optimized instructions can significantly boost performance. Simplicity and power efficiency. The RISC-V instruction set is much smaller compared to x86, making it easier to implement and more energy efficient. This is why many startups and research labs are choosing RISC-V for edge computing and battery-powered devices. Scalability. RISC-V can scale from 32-bit microcontrollers to 64-bit and even 128-bit high-performance computing processors. This flexibility allows it to be used in a wide range of applications, from tiny embedded devices to massive cloud servers. Security and transparency. Because RISC-V is open source, it allows greater transparency and security auditing. In contrast, proprietary architectures like x86 and ARM can have security vulnerabilities that are not fully disclosed to the public. Big tech companies are increasingly turning to RISC-V, and here's why. No licensing fees, ARM charges royalties for every chip sold, whereas RISC-V is free to use. This can save millions in costs for chip makers. Geopolitical independence. With the ongoing US-China tech war, China is investing heavily in RISC-V to reduce dependence on Western technology. Flexibility for AI and HPC. Companies like Sci5 and Alibaba, developing high-performance RISC-V processors tailored for AI and cloud computing. 
Even though RISC-V is still relatively new, it's already being adopted in various industries, IoT and embedded systems. Companies are using RISC-V for low-power devices like sensors, wearables, and smart home appliances. AI and machine learning. Custom RISC-V cores are being designed for AI accelerators, offering better efficiency than general-purpose CPUs. Supercomputers. China has announced plans to build RISC-V-based supercomputers to avoid reliance on US-made chips. Smartphones. While no major smartphone uses RISC-V yet, companies like Qualcomm and Alibaba are experimenting with RISC-V for mobile applications. Challenges Facing RISC-V Despite its advantages, RISC-V still has some major hurdles before it can truly compete with x86 and ARM. Software Compatibility Most modern software, including Windows and many Linux distributions, is optimized for x86 or ARM. While Linux already supports RISC-V, major operating systems like Windows and Mac OS do not yet natively support it. Ecosystem Maturity x86 and ARM have been around for decades, with extensive optimizations, software support, and developer tools. RISC-V is still young and lacks the same level of maturity. Performance Optimization While RISC-V is efficient, it does not yet match the raw performance of Intel or AMD's high-end CPUs. Companies need time to refine the architecture for high-performance computing. So, is RISC-V the future of computing? The answer is complex. For high-performance computing HPC and gaming PCs, probably not anytime soon. X86 is still dominant, and software compatibility remains a huge barrier. For smartphones, ARM still has a stronghold, but RISC-V's open-source model could attract manufacturers looking for flexibility. For IoT, AI, and embedded systems, absolutely. RISC-V's modularity, efficiency, and cost-effectiveness make it a strong contender in these areas. The RISC-V revolution is just beginning. With major companies backing it and an open-source movement driving innovation, we could be looking at the next big shift in computing. Will RISC-V take over, or will X86 and ARM continue to dominate? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more deep dives into the future of tech.